cordyceps, the, uh, I think with the cordyceps we've saved a lot of marriages. Um, testimonially or you know, anecdotally in terms of just that stamina that you get, that vitality that you get with, uh, with the cordyceps mushroom known as the Tibetan Viagra. Oh, are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I didn't know about this part. I've been wasting it on working out. Jesus. What a <laughs> You're definitely getting that level of energy um, that you may you know, require stamina, vitality. And it can be a good substitute for caffeine or coffee. Or if you really sort of want to take off, add it to your coffee. Um, but it's a great piece where you're not getting that peak and trough of energy flow, more a four to six hour buzz or flow um, without sort of that adrenal fatigue attached to it, which we can sometimes be succumbed to with coffee because we can you know, have another coffee after lunch or it's too late in the day and then that interrupts with our sleep. And so it's really, I guess, with that, you know, the uh, the adaptogen, you know, of the cordyceps is that it can turn down the volume itself if your environment is turned down. So they're very smart in that sense that, you know, if you have good health hygiene and bed hygiene and sleep hygiene that you know, the cordyceps won't keep you up at night which is which is very smart and, and a great thing but the most important aspect is that it increases atp production so adenine triphosphate helps stimulate mitochondrial you know regeneration um, and it is amazing at cellular repair as well so from an anti-aging strategy um, you know it helps i guess penetrate the DNA or RNA of an infecting virus or of infecting bacteria and stops it from replicating. 